unimportant splits are I think a lot of people make it a little more complicated than it has to be like the order in which you work out your muscles is really not that important um, but anyways also go over kind of what I'm trying to make my split during this off season what I'm gonna try to focus on so anyways I'll probably do that instead of a workout in this video but I'm rambling and I will see you in the next one time for a Jimmy bar <laughs> So we got these at the expo. Got a few different flavors. This one's the lemon one, which actually barely tastes like lemon, which <laughs> I like about it. Um, so it's, yeah, no, it's really good. And I'm not a big lemon person, so I like the mild lemon. Um, mine's 10 fat, 18 carb, 23 protein. Yours is high. 29 carb, 21 protein, 11 fat. For the birthday cake one, right? That one you really like? I do really like it. You I tried that one, one right? yeah. I like the lemon one. The lemon one's really good. They have the peanut butter one too, which I haven't tried yet because that one's really high mattress. Wow. The peanut butter one? I don't know. Okay. Pretty. I know, right? And here's the lemon. Ooh. Pink's prettier. I know. But they're good. For I really boy. Yeah. I really enjoy them though. Okay, do we time for lunch? So for lunch I have <laughs> white rice, chicken, green beans, and some sugar-free barbecue. Okay, so we just got home. I'm gonna make a snack. It's just gonna be two chocolate rice cakes, and then, I don't think I've showed you guys this before. It is Jif Whips. Whipped peanut butter and chocolate, so it's like, has a chocolatey taste, but it's still pretty much peanut butter, but I'm gonna do half a serving so it's gonna be five and a half fat five and a half carb three no one and a half protein so i'll probably just put this on one of them and then eat the other one plain and that's my snack all right guys so i got a package from 3d energy drinks this is uh christian guzman's energy drink company i was super pumped when they reached out to me because i wanted to try them for the longest time and i'm definitely going to do a taste test of all of them on here so they sent two cases of the assorted flavors so we have so you got six of each i'm so freaking excited just in time for my adrenal cleanse <laughs> frick and i just for the record i just want to show everybody we're going to take a quick walk over to the fridge I think we got a couple energy drinks already. Oh, those are caffeine free. We got Rainbow Unicorn, we got Paraguava, we got these from the Expo, the C4. Good lord, where are you gonna fit these? These have calories though, seven carbs. I guess that's a good thing. 
Yeah, it's not a bad thing. Just to keep you from crushing these on a regular basis? Literally, Me too. Maybe. No, but it sucks because I don't want to open them. Like, I want to do a taste test all at once, but I don't want to open four. No, no, no. You I think we I should mean? just cycle through when you do, like, all right, here's my... Do or all do four. Days and then just yeah, that's what I'm saying. Together. Yeah, and then make your determination what you think is the best. Okay. I already have an idea based I on know, what some of the uh, the reviews have been. Face. Everyone's saying the green kind of tastes like Mountain Dew, um, which Mountain is Dew awesome. Um, but yeah, let's seven grams of carbs in these bad boys. Okay. Two hundred milligrams of caffeine, which is good. It's Better nothing crazy. Because like it's bangs really are three three hundred. That's that. So All right, we'll sweet. Keep you guys updated, but I just wanted to share that because I'm pretty excited about these. Thanks, 3D. You guys are awesome. All right, guys. So Anthony went to the gym. As I said, I'm taking a rest day, so I figured this would be the perfect time to kind of have my little talk about training splits and what I want to make my split. I think as of this off season, I'm not exactly sure yet, and nothing's like set in stone. Because splits are not that important. Um, they're a great guideline, and if you need that structure and kind of organization of like what you're going to hit and when, it's great to have. But like the order in which you hit your muscle groups is not as important, I think, as people make it out to be. What's important is what you're doing during those workouts and you know how you spend your time in the gym. It's important to have a plan of action and a purpose when you go into the gym, but like having Monday be legs, Tuesday be back, Wednesday chest, like that isn't going to make or break your progress. Um, like I said, if you need that structure and you kind of need that like every week, it's going to be the same exact thing, then splits are amazing. Um, but like I've been getting asked so often what my training split is and I just don't understand. I just kind of go with what I know I need to work next and what's not sore and I don't know, I just kind of am at a point where I have my workouts planned out. When I go into the gym, I know what I'm training, what movements I'll be doing, but I don't have a set schedule as to what day I'm doing what. I just don't find it as important, and like I just know as long as I'm hitting everything I need to hit, however many times I need to hit it a week, that's great. If I do back on Wednesday instead of Tuesday because it was a little bit sore on Tuesday still, and I swapped it around with it, like, that's not going to make or break your progress. Um, I just am really into listening to my body and obviously making sure that I am hitting all of my muscle groups in each week. But if I move things around or if things aren't exactly the same week over week, it's not that big of a deal. So essentially, I told you guys I was going to try to do glutes or legs three times a week, throw in abs. Um, I probably am going to add another ab session. I tried to write up a split for me to follow now um, as I go into my off season, but again, it's not something that I will really probably follow to a T. Um, if things happen during the week and I need to switch things around, I'm going to do that. But essentially, this is kind of the rough draft of what I plan to do throughout my off season. So I'm thinking um, I'm definitely going to have one full rest day, at least one full rest day. I might have two, but as of right now, I'm going to do one full rest day. And then I'll probably have a, one other kind of active rest day. So whether that be just cardio or like light accessory type of training or things I need to work on. So maybe that'll be an extra glute day or do abs that day or something like that. But like I want to have five hard weight training days and then one rest day and then one kind of like whatever day. So basically kind of how I've mapped it out thus far is legs, shoulders and chest, back, legs, shoulders and arms, and then glutes and abs. So I still have to kind of throw in another ab day. I might do it with back. I'm not really sure, but Kind of that's how I'm doing it. So I don't need to work chest that crazily, so I threw it in with shoulders. Um, same goes with arms, so I'm kind of doing two shoulder days, but I'm splitting my shoulder days with one day of chest and one day of arms. So that way um, I don't need my shoulders to get too, too much bigger. Um, I just need the density there. So just kind of getting a hopefully more muscle maturity over time. Um, but anyway, so that's me hitting legs twice a week specifically glutes once a week so I guess technically like three leg days but one being extremely glute focused so that'll kind of probably be like almost a half day um, where I will probably do abs as well 
and then throw abs in again on another day. So I don't know. I mean, that's kind of what I wrote down, but it's not set in stone. And I just kind of want to say, like, it's not that important what your split is. Um, I feel like people overcomplicate it, and it doesn't really matter what your split is as long as you're doing everything that you need to be doing. My recommendation, if you want to create a split for yourself, break down each muscle group. So we're going to have back, shoulders, biceps, triceps, chest, legs. You can split up legs into quads, hamstrings, glutes, whatever you want to do. Um, and then just literally divide it into the days of the week. <laughs> hit whatever you want to hit. Um, combine things that you think don't need full days to themselves. And that's kind of it. It doesn't need to be anything super complicated or crazy. And then from there, I mean, just try it out, see how it works. And if you find that you love that cadence and that um, schedule that you've created, great. If not, swap things around, kind of see what works best for you. But to me, the most important part of workouts and planning is what exercises you're actually doing and how your time is spent in the gym, not necessarily what day you hit what muscle group. Um, as long as you're giving enough time in between those muscles that you know you have enough time to recover. So like I said, if I still feel sore in my hamstrings or my legs when I have a leg day that I'm supposed to be doing, most of the time I'll probably just swap it out and do something else instead and kind of like move things around. So I don't want to overtrain, um, but at the same time, I also want to make sure that I am hitting everything I need to hit. So that's kind of it. Um, I don't really know what else to say about it. I get that question so freaking often, and I just don't think it's as important as it's made out to be. Getting all your workouts in is what is the most important part, and if you need a split to do that, great, then make a split. But if not, like, don't panic over the fact that you don't have a workout split created that you follow to the T each week. Just make sure you're getting all of your workouts in and make sure they're effective and that you're getting the most out of your time in the gym. That's kind of the most important part in my opinion. So that's kind of it. But hopefully that was like kind of helpful. I think I just rambled and literally gave a split that kind of sounds really confusing because it is kind of confusing. I don't really have everything mapped out yet. So yeah, that's kind of it on my split rant and... Next thing you guys see will be my dinner. I am going to have another Icon Meals. I'm really, really loving Icon Meals so far. I am a big fan, and I definitely think I'm going to order them for Vegas as well. I'll probably just get a few meals just so I don't really have to worry about bringing food when I go to the Olympia. And that's kind of it. So I will see you guys in the next clip. Alright, so it's time to eat my next meal. I'm going to do the chopped beef enchiladas from Icon Meals. I'm gonna do this and a can of green beans because why the heck not? I don't know if I like in depth reviewed Icon Meals, but I'm going to right now. So let me just say that one, the packaging is extremely impressive. Not only does it look beautiful, but it's actually easy to open. Um, I've had bite meals as you guys had seen before and literally it was impossible to get the plastic off. It was like way, way too difficult. Um, and then also when you heat these meals up, they don't have a bed of water that they soak in. It's freaking gross. Um, I think it's because they're vacuum sealed so well that they literally don't have any water when you heat them up. So yeah, I'm a big fan, like I said earlier, and I'm going to heat this up now and cook my green beans and then I will let you guys know how this meal is. Okay, so here we go. It looks and smells bomb. There's like that corn salsa under there, but I just threw my green beans on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it and I'll let you guys know how it is. It's really, really good, honestly. I kind of wish I. Yeah. Really good. I'd give it, honestly, maybe even a 10 out of 10. It's freaking really good. So we're gonna try the red one. Wait, I don't think we told them how the white one was. I feel like you did. I don't know if I filmed it or not. If I didn't, I'm gonna throw it in now. Hi guys, I tried the white one and it was really good. I think it reminds me of the white monster. I think it's a little less flavorful, but Anthony doesn't really agree. Like I think it has a little bit less of a flavor to it, which I, I kind of like. It's a little bit more mellow in my opinion. Maybe that's why I like it so much. Yeah, because you know me, I like more yeah. like dummy down sugar flavor but for the most part. Similar like. taste vibe to the white monster. I actually really liked it. So agreed. It's go. very good. Ooh, this one. Okay, and that's it for 
This one's good. It's very um, exactly what your picture of red drink would taste like. Is that kind of like anyone out there had Code Red, red Mountain Dew? I just said Code Red. Anyone out there? He said. But it's more of like a fruit punch almost. Too. Agreed. But Code Red but kind Code of has red. a fruit punchy taste. This is something I would crave and then pick this one. Do you know what I mean? It's not an every. You'd have to be in the mood for it. Drink. Same but as the red monster really or the blue monster. Right. Fight over red so far, for sure. Yeah, but this one's. It's hard because like this one's really good, but on occasion. Yeah, I just I'm not a big. I don't even get the color monsters. Anyways. Well, so. But yeah. Okay, just drink review. Very good. So we went to Redbox again. We returned our other movies, and now we got Twelve Strong which I think is like a war movie after 9-11. And then we got five, is it Passenger 5? <laughs> Passenger 5, I think. It's like a space movie, which I really like space movies. So got that. Now I'm just gonna make up my last meal of the day, which is gonna be two packs of oatmeal and two egg whites, but I can't have nut butter because I have no more fats left. So I'm kind of depressed, but at least I get two packs of oatmeal. All right, guys, so that's it for the night. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. That's all I have for you. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.